Dean's Sarah Schaefer got reaction today. So what are people saying about this? Well, of course, a lot of students and staff are excited, but those against the realignment are not celebrating. They're calling this a small victory. Just a couple of months ago, it was a much different scene here. Students and staff at IPFW were protesting the proposed degree cuts. That included philosophy, women's studies, geology, French, and German, plus a handful of teaching programs, majors, and graduate programs. But as of yesterday, women's studies has been reinstated. We're obviously really excited um, and encouraged by the decision to keep it. Uh, but at the same time, it's a victory, but it's still a small victory because it doesn't address the fundamental issue of what's happening at IPFW. The reason for the reinstatement includes a plan that allows for cost savings and efficiency. Lauren Curlin is a communications major, and she's part of a group advocating for keeping the programs that are facing cuts. She says although this is a step for women's studies, she isn't celebrating. We want to send a message to Chancellor Connor Wyan and Vice Chancellor Drummond that this isn't going to placate us. Um, we're still very much dedicated in our fight to save the other programs that are on the chopping block. Neither is the director of women's studies. She posted a lengthy status on Facebook. In it, she said she won't be celebrating because they're the only major being reinstated. She went on to say she'll continue to advocate for one IPFW. I also talked with the dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. He says women's studies will be working with political science. We'll have more from him at 6, but in the meantime, I put his entire statement on this story on Wayne.com. All right, thank you so much, Sarah.